Hi guys, I'm Carl Stein and I play wing and centre. Hi, I'm Finn Russell and I play standoff. Hi there, my name is Xander Ferguson and I'm a tight end prop for Scotland. Yeah, starting the camp back in, in St Andrews was awesome. Um, you know, particularly as, as a golf fan, it's an amazing place in Scotland. I'd had four weeks off from uh, finishing up in France, so it was nice to get back in and see all the boys. Change of scenery, being by the, being by the, the sea um, and being by the golf is, is, is always a good start. <laughs> Tuesday, your typical gym, uh, units, just scrums and malls, and then rugby in the afternoon. quite full on the first two days. I suppose that's part of it in pre-season. It's, it's going to be tough just now, but um, hopefully we'll get the rewards for it when it comes to the games. So we had a few activities um, in St Andrews. Um, we divided into into clans. So um, yeah, we, we took each other on in, um, we had some long drives. We had nearest to the pin, some chipping, um, and then we had uh, some boys putting to, to decide a champion. It's getting sent. Oh, you've sprayed it, you've oh. oh. Mate, he's got him. I think the real surprise there was Jimmy Dobie. He was hitting it like 360. Yards or meters, I can't remember. So he was the uh, surprise there. I wasn't expecting that from him. Cheating! Cheating! Go quick! Go! 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 Go, boy! Carries! Carries 220. That's even bigger. Go! 
Come on. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Go. And then based on that, we had some beach cricket um, on the West Sands Beach in St Andrews, which was a great morning, you know, combined with a bit of, bit of recovery, get everyone in the cold water. Um, yeah, it was just a great way to, to sign, sign everything off. Right, so the main final is on this pitch. Yeah, good. Oh. up on this pitch. Yeah. Why are you guys not wearing your vests? Oh, Jay's opening, no doubt. With my with 10 runs off my over, but <laughs> VP stepped in, got a wicket, no runs, I think, so it's a good start. Oh, skin! Skin! Oh, it's pretty cold out there. <laughs> ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think doing any sport outside of rugby, um, just for connection, having a laugh with your mates and your teammates is, is always good for building those bonds and that camaraderie. Us rugby players don't take ourselves too seriously, so when we do do something and I, I get I get bowled out by Roy Dodge, it's, it's, a, it's a good laugh. Moments like that off the pitch for boys to be able to connect, just sort of relax and um, have a bit of fun together, I think they're huge. What we're saying, we've got four overs to go. 31 to win. We need 31 to win, four overs. Staino's coming to bat, good player. Stewie's yeah. bowling, you might want to watch this. Yeah. 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 Six. 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 Great start, Staino. Six. Great start, Staino. my third World Cup so I've been around for a while I must be one of the most well one of the oldest and probably one of the most experienced now in the team so it's slightly different my role it's still it's still the same playing playing fly half you know but it's it's slightly different having been there and and competed in two World Cups already so I've got a little bit more more knowledge than most of the boys more experience which is it's nice but I do I do miss the moments when I was 21 22 years old going to a World Cup I probably have changed mentally. I would say kind of growing up maturing is definitely one of it. You've now got a, I've got a daughter that I've got to look after. As someone else I've got to help out, it's not just me. My rugby journey from four years ago to now, um, my daughter was born uh, at the start of the year 2019. Um, and uh, yeah, what an absolute blessing she was. Um, gave me a bit of perspective and coming to dad for the first time, best, best feeling and best job in the world. So I think what it's given me in, how it's helped my rugby these last four years is just that perspective and that life balance. And I've always said, you know, and being, being the best that I can be is the, the biggest job for me and rugby is a secondary, but I try and do both as well as I can. So for me, it's a great switch off and when I come home, you know, I can leave rugby at the door and they don't care if I've had a bad session or a, a, a bad day. They just want to see dad and have fun. So um, for me, it's been a, a great balance and yeah, absolutely loving life and looking forward to seeing what we can do. So yeah, for me, my heritage, my mum was, was born in Glasgow, she was born out in Mulgai. Um, she was quite young when she moved to South Africa. My granddad was an engineer that, that got a job that got seen out over there. Growing up, um, you know, we had a strong, strong base, a strong touch with our, with our Scottish side. So it was amazing to come over to Glasgow, um, you know, be able to, um, I suppose, see places where my, my mum had lived and my grandparents had lived and, and all the stories they told us. Once I made my debut, I was sort of, I was sort of in and out, and then, um, you know, caps were, were quite hard to come by. So, so 
the Six Nations going to, you know, to be able to play all the games, be involved in, in five in a row um, was really special. Um, it was a great group of boys, you know, it was a, it was a, a tough but, but good campaign for us. It's good, it's a great experience, great learning experience going into the World Cup. Um, feeling good. Getting some live stuff today. Uh, get the shoulders in, be aggressive. Get the shoulders in, be aggressive. Last one of the week. So, we're going to get ball game right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Alec Price is taking it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, let Jay go from there. Yeah, come Jay. Come, come Jay. Come Jay. Come Jay. Come I'll be vice captain for the day. Yeah, I'll set you up. Hey, how are you? Hey, yeah. Yeah, the open training session um, and launching the new World Cup kit at um, at Murrayfield was was awesome. Um, you know, it was our first taste of contact. You know, and so that added a little bit. You know, being in the new threads um, and having a whole host of fans there to support us. Just the turnout we had. I think we I think we had three thousand fans there from all over Scotland, which was absolutely awesome. Um, I saw some people from Kermier my hometown, so it was great to see them and to see the Strathy Sharks badges and stuff. Um, but there's there, people from all over came to watch us. Yeah, we came from Kerry. Kerry, oh, brilliant. Yeah. Kerry, awesome. Yeah. Play, play with Strathy Sharks? Yeah. Oh, awesome. It started to rain quite a bit then, so it was uh, a bit tough for the signings and the balls and the, the programmes, but it was good fun seeing all the fans and, and getting to interact with them. So they're so important for us when you they come to what, Scottish Gas Murrayfield. And um, they definitely help us there, so it's nice to see them all and connect with them again. Just a bit sharper on that pot. Lovely man, keep on passing. Finishing your passing. Yes, sir. Great ball, Kyle. Well done. Lovely! Drop in! Hook in there! Get low tap! Lovely! Bobby, watch out for Go, boys, Josh! Well done, Josh! Yes, yes, yes! Yes, yes, so yeah, the final week of pre-season is here, um, games next week, can't wait, but uh, we're back at Orion this week, fantastic facility, we're so lucky to be here um, and we've got everything we need to be the best versions of ourselves. You, know, you kind of get to that stage in pre-season where you, you're ready for the games to come, um, you know, we've got one more box to tick which is an internal game, um, you know, Dead honest, there's, there's some mixed feelings in the in the squad, but we know that you know being able to have that hit up, that you know that initial contact will be really good for us. I'm sure the boys can get stuck in and really try as hard as we can to make sure we enjoy this last week of training together, but also put your foot forward for selection.
Yeah, these next four games at the, the famous Grouse Nation series are going to be fundamental for us to see where we're at, get heading to the World Cup. Really excited to get back out. You know, it's not often you get to play at Murrayfield. I know we'll be going into every game trying to win it and playing it hard as we can.